What's up guys, it's David here from PhoneBluff.com and in this video I'm giving you my top 5 tips for making your Android phone run a little bit faster or at least make it feel like it's running a little bit faster. So the first thing and probably the most effective thing that you can do to make your phone feel faster is to disable the transition animation. So for example, if I hit on this app right here, you can see it does a little transition and um, that actually adds up over time. I mean, there's just milliseconds, but over time it could get to be uh, quite a bit of time. So the way you disable it is press menu and then go to settings and then go to display. Under display, you'll see an option for animation. Just hit no animations and then watch. I'm gonna hit home and look how quickly it goes. So basically now I hit the same file, the my files, and you can see um, getting rid of that animation just makes the phone seem like it's a little bit faster. Now. That's on the Galaxy Note with Android 2.3, uh, but on a phone like the Galaxy Nexus, which has Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, you disable the animations a little bit dif differently, and also with Ice Cream Sandwich, you have the option to not disable it outright if you don't want to, but you could actually speed them up. So the way you do that is again, you go to settings, but this time you go under developer options. So developer options right over here. And um, now before I do this, actually, let me show you uh, the animation. So you can see there is animations. I go to my contacts, it's doing the whole little uh, animation transition and it takes up some time. So anyway, go back here, you're going to go to developer options again, and then you're going to scroll down to where it says window animation scale and transition animation scale. So you can see it's set to uh, 1x. Now you could actually make it go to 0.5x, which is you know half the time. So that's what I'll actually do because I do like the animations or the transitions because it does make it look a little bit you know nicer but it is a little bit slower so now when I when I press home you can see it's a little bit quicker at doing it which you know I could live with now that's the first tip the second tip to making your phone a little bit faster is getting rid of widgets that you don't necessarily need or use now a lot of people will have their you know seven home screens on their uh, phone and have a widget on all of them and really you're not going to be using all of them um, you can see I have some widgets now these ones I actually like, and considering my phone has one gig of RAM, um, I'm pretty okay. I'm okay with the uh, with the uh, widgets, but you know sometimes if I want to get a little bit more speed, I'll just delete them right off my phone. So to delete them, for example, if I want to delete some of these, I just press and hold on my press and hold on it, and drag up or down to delete it, and there you go. So pretty easy to do, and it speeds up the phone a little bit. Now you may have noticed that on my phone that you can see it's kind of lagging a little when I go from home screen to home screen. Um, and that's the next step, or the next tip, which is to disable your live wallpapers. Now, live wallpapers look cool. You know, you can interact with them like that, and that's nice and all. But not only do they waste battery life, they also slow down your phone. So I'll go ahead and disable this guy and put a uh, different wallpaper. Now, if you have an AMOLED screen, I'd recommend also to save uh, battery is using a darker uh, wallpaper. So, for example, this one has some black in it. I'll just go ahead and use this guy, hit home really quick. So there's some black at the bottom and top, which you know saves some battery because AMOLED screens turn off the pixels for those. And now you can see the smoothing is a lot, or the scrolling is a lot smoother. And uh, now my phone just feels faster already. Now the next two tips are one to uh, close your apps. So you know always you know hit the multitasking button on ICS or the task manager and close them out. Now a lot of people will you know say oh you don't need to do that. Android manages your apps by himself and they'll close them out you know when it thinks that it's necessary when it's running low on system resource and that's true um, I still get in the habit of closing them but if you don't close them then at least I'd recommend you know if you have a whole bunch of apps that you know when you first got your phone you're just having fun and downloading a whole bunch of apps you know delete the ones that you don't use because a lot of times those apps will have you know will be running in the background which will take up your RAM will take up some processing power and uh, you won't even know it. And if you don't use it, there's no point to have it. Kind of similar to like a widget. Um, and my last tip is to every once in a while, just reset your phone. Now I know that you don't really have to do this, but you know, I do it at least, you know, once a week or so. I just turn my phone off and turn it back on. It just clears out the RAM, refreshes it. Just like on a computer, you know, you restart it. It's gonna run faster. Same thing with the phone. But um, after those five tips, I mean, you should be okay and your phone should be definitely running a lot faster than it was before. All right, that's it for me in this video. This is Dave from PhoneBuff.com. Thank you for watching it, and don't forget to visit PhoneBuff.com for more cell phone news, reviews, and how-tos. Also, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.